Today, I'm sitting down with Great Britain national team player and graduate transfer from FSU, Savannah Wilkinson, who's excited and eager to play her first season at SMU. Savannah, first of all, congrats on being named team captain. What did that mean to you when that was announced? It was huge. I think the biggest thing for me was that it was a team vote. And for my teammates to have my support and have my back is a big thing for me. Like, it's great the coaches encourage that as well, but to have my teammates have my side, that was, that was my biggest thing. So I haven't formally thanked them, so I guess this is my way of like thanking them. Um, so I just want to be a good teammate to them and help, help us win. So that's, that's my goal, yeah. Now you've had quite the journey. I mean, the last four years you spent at FSU as an extremely versatile player. So tell me, what made you decide to come here to SMU? Um, I wanted to change a scene. I wanted to be in a conference where I could use my versatility. Um, I knew Coach T, Coach Jazz, Coach G, and Coach Danny. I knew they all would be able to use my versatility. They know me from high school. They know me as a national team player. So um, that was a big thing for me that they knew my past as well as my college career um, to kind of bring that fire back into my game um, so that I could be a leader here. and. And having Coach T as a, the first black woman to coach at SMU was a huge um, point for me, especially for my family as well. Like that was that was like, we got to be behind this. We got to make sure we can back her. Um, so that was huge as well. Yeah. No, you have an extremely impressive resume. I mean, growing up in London as a top recruit, Great Britain national team, which is huge. And then now here at SMU before FSU. I mean, how did this all get started? How did you first start in basketball? So I started playing basketball when I was about eight. Um, my older brother played, so I was kind of following his footsteps. Um, I just wanted to be able to spend time with him. Um, and I thought if he's playing basketball, then I'm just going to do that. Um, it was funny because before I started playing basketball, I did all different sports. I swam because my mum swam. We did kickboxing because my dad was a kickboxer. We played football, soccer, um, because that's just what you do in England. Um, but once I found basketball, it was just like a different kind of energy. I like knew that's where I wanted to be. I had a different kind of motivation. Um, I remember there was one time we had a drill and the older players were doing it so easily. It was like passing the ball through your legs, but you had to like run and pass it through. And I was like, I'm not leaving here until I get that. And mm -hmm. my mom saw me like change my whole mentality. And she was like, this is the sport. This is the this one. The one. Yeah. So it's, yeah, that's how I started. And then just, we're just a sporty family, really. So you had to do a sport. And once I found basketball, I knew I was going to be all right. Playing for the Great Britain women's national team is such a huge honor. What goes through your head every time you put on that Great Britain jersey? It's, it's a different kind of adrenaline rush. It's like you're so proud, honored. Um, it's, and it's, it, does, it never changes. It never wavers. You, every single time you put it on, no matter how many times you played, it's, it's a different kind of energy. And GB is known to be like the people that are just on you all the time. We're hardworking, we're just gonna scrap and play hard. And that was a big thing. Like when I played with the senior team was that's what they tried to get into me every single game was don't be complacent, play hard, play consistent. Um, so, and then to have GB on your chest, is just, it's a different kind of adrenaline. Yeah. What was it like the transition from playing in England to the United States? I would say the United States is a lot more, is a lot faster. Um, I think in England it was more physical. I don't think they call as many vowels in England, personally. Um, so that was a little bit of an adjustment when I first came over. Um, but I've kind of found my way of being physical, but also not getting in foul trouble. So uh, it's a balance. Um, so yeah, the speed of the game. Um, in England I was playing with like professionals who had come through their career, played in Europe, played in college. and and I got to learn from them. So now it's kind of interesting being able to take my European experience and teach people here, um, like the freshmen and things like that. So it's fun to have the other side of things. So um, yeah, I would say that's the difference. What are a few of the things that these professionals have taught you playing for the national team? Uh, I think consistency is a, is a huge thing. I think when you're young, you think, oh, if I eat bad or I go out, I'll be okay but they're on top of it. Once they're in season, it's I'm eating right, I'm working out, I'm doing this, I'm stretching, yoga, this, that. This. So they have a whole lifestyle that surrounds around one game. Um, so I think that was a huge thing for me was I didn't really 
I didn't really learn that until I was playing for my national team was and seeing it every day, like we're in camps and they're making sure they're like, okay, this is how much protein I need, this is how many carbs I need. And it was a it was a wake up call, like I can't eat cake after my after my meal every single day, <laughs> yeah. even though they have desserts there. Uh, so it, yeah, it, that's the that was a huge thing. And then obviously basketball, they see the game so much differently. Um, there's a girl on GB, Joe Leader. She was always my inspiration. She p plays the three position at home, and she just sees the game so differently. And uh, so she would always teach me. She would like pull me to the side and just be like, next time if you just do this, like you're going to be open every single time. Just shoot your jump shot. So she had lots of confidence in me and knew that I could see the game how she saw it. She just had to guide me to that spot. So yeah. Really? Now we're excited to see you play. Season is right around the corner. What are a few goals of yours for this upcoming season? Um, I think my main goal is to just create Coach T's vision. She's brought me here for a reason and I think it's to make her the program she wants to create and be able to bring that into capacity at this level. So I think that's a huge thing for me is kind of taking on what she's saying and making sure that the program is doing what she wants it to be doing. Um, and then another goal is just honestly to just win. I just want to enjoy. I want to make relationships with my teammates, long lasting relationships um, and then play well. I can't, I, I, I want to be a good teammate. I want to, obviously I want to score. Everyone wants to score, but I just want to make sure we're winning. Um, that's my, that's my main thing. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Steph. Of course.